Hi, this is Deborah from Beacon of Light and I have Thelma here today. Today is June, Sunday, June 9th, and uh, Thelma is in the house. <laughs> all right, let's see what today's energy is going to be all about. Let me grab a deck of cards here. <laughs> I'm just going to knock that off the desk. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a nice weekend. Um, I had an event yesterday, and Denise, it was nice to see you there. Um, thank you for uh, allow, uh, letting me do a reading for you. It was nice. To, again, it was a, a pleasure to see you. Um, let's see. So, and thanks to everybody who um, who leaves comments, and um, always appreciate your kind words. Thank you. All right. So let's see. What today's energy is going to be all about June 9th. I feel like this one, this one, and that one just go out. Okay. What do you think, Thelma? What's it going to be? What's it going to be, baby? All right. All right. So we have a seven of wands. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So the Seven of Wands is building an energy that is standing on their own. They're they're resisting the other one, <coughs> the other wands. <coughs> excuse me. the The other name for this card is Valor. Really standing up for what you believe in and standing in your own energy and. It's a, it can be a defensive energy, really defending your ground. And um, this Knight of Cups, in reverse, it could be that there's an emotional overload because um, typically this card wants to offer a cup of emotion and is charging forward. And in reverse, it's, it's looking back at the difficulties and challenges and the defenses. And it's kind of asking us, are we... Are we emotionally overloaded by the situation by the chaos or the uh, the discussion or, or whatever is happening here it's eight of pentacles it's with it being in reverse it's unproductive work so one of the things that um one of the things i'm sensing with this card or with this reading today is we don't are are the the messages that we deliver the information that we the knowledge and the wisdom that we hold true if we are going to be successful at what we do it has to be the messages need to be able to flow to the uh, to the recipient all right and the recipient isn't going to be open until the frequency until there's a frequency match so this seven of wands is is trying to deliver a message or trying to defend a message or something but all these other six wands don't are not on the same frequency they're not on the same vibrational level to understand that that message and thus there's an emotional overload understanding. It could restrict you to your limitations of being rigid or um, uh, frustrated and it's unproductive. The Eight of Pentacles, you wanna be able to create in the world. You wanna be able to um, allow yourself to be fruitful and, and to receive abundance and it's a back and forward conversation that we're having with other souls and life in general so the the message here is to allow yourself to flow with the frequency or the, or the vibration of the level of understanding so that your messages are delivered in a in a way that's going to be productive otherwise it's not it's not worth the effort and everything is worth the effort because you're making a difference somehow one person at a time um 
kind of want to throw another card here. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's something I'm learning, and I, I resonate with this reading today. It might be just a message for me today. But I'm glad everybody else who watches this video, I, I hope everybody else who watches this video take, it, takes away something from it also. This is nature. Reconnect with nature. Feel the sun on your skin. Walk barefoot on the grass. So there's a nice message just to reconnect with the vibration of nature. Reconnect with um, the, the aspect of life that doesn't have to compete so much with the daily tasks of what humans do or what our, our humanness does and to relax into what comes natural. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.